Now in this video I'm going to work a little bit further based off of a previous one that I did on symbology. Um, in the last video we spent some time symbolizing the polygons and points and creating labels. But what if I want to take my clinics and share them with a broader audience? Perhaps an audience that doesn't have ArcGIS or such tools at their disposal. Well, one of the nice things is, is that now I have the option in the Arc Toolbox to actually take my layers and export them into a KML format. And KML is commonly used in things like Google Earth and Google Maps. So it's a very nice way to exchange spatial data with a broader audience. And within ArcGIS, there's a tool available. If I click on this red toolbox icon, I'll open up my Arc Toolbox. And Arc Toolbox is where I'm going to find all of my advanced processing tools. And depending on how you have your Arc Toolbox configured, you may see tools available for licenses that you don't have, but that still appear. And so the only hint will be that when you try and run some tools, they may not work if you don't actually have an active license. But in this example, everyone should have the very basic KML conversion tool. And the easiest way to find a particular tool that you're looking for is to simply click on the search tab down here at the bottom, or the index tab. But if we click on the search tab, I can simply type in a keyword like KML. And when it returns, I should have four options. The first two I may not be able to run because it may require a 3D analyst extension. And the hint will be here under toolbox. So the first two I might have to skip, but let's try the second one. Now I have the option at the tool to export one layer at a time, or I can try and export the entire map. In this case, I'm really only interested in exporting my Staten Island clinic location. So I'm going to double click on the layer to KML from the conversion tools toolbox. Now if I want to know where that lies, I can click this locate button, and that'll actually take me back to the toolbox but identify exactly where the tool sits, which might be helpful if I want to find it again without using the search. So by double clicking on the tool, I'll get this sort of wizard interface. Now anything with a green ball over here on the left means that I have to have something in the box. And in pretty much all of the cases of the tools, I'll have some help related to each one of these categories. And when I click on one of these input boxes, I'll get different instructions. So it's a very handy way to figure out sort of what you're supposed to be doing. So for the first option, I just need to pick the layer that I eventually want to convert. And in this case, it's just my geocoded Staten Island clinics. So I select them. As for the output file, I just need to browse somewhere on my machine and give them a new name. In this case, maybe a date stamp. Click Save. And then finally, I have to give it a layer output scale. Now, what I like to do in this case is just put something that is close to my existing map scale. So my map scale is reading at about 100,000. So I'm going to type 100,000 in this box and click OK. Now, anytime we run a tool, we'll get this dialog box that'll tell us exactly what's happening and if we have any errors it'll tell us here looks like everything worked just fine so now I can click close and go into Google Maps or some other service but what's nice about Google Maps is that I have the ability to work within the My Maps feature 
which lets me set up my own custom apps on top of Google's own. So, assuming you have a Google account, you sign in, and then click on the My Maps button. Once you click on this My Maps button, you'll have another link that will let you create a new map. And when you select that, you'll come to this page. And from here, it's simply a matter of setting up our new map. You can make the map publicly available or unlisted. And up here, we have a very handy option that lets us import our KML or KMZ file directly. So by clicking on that, I can simply browse to wherever I saved my KML or KMZ, find it, and select it. Once I've selected it, I simply click Upload from File. Now, once the map loads, I may need to go back and do some tweaking on the actual symbology. Now, the tool available in ArcGIS is a very straightforward KML export tool. There are some other great user-created scripts available on the ArcScripts website. So if you find that you want to do some more advanced and custom labeling within the KML before you get to this point, you might want to check out some of those scripts. But at this point, if I select on one of my clinics, I can start tweaking it by selecting it here on the left and perhaps setting up a custom icon for each location, adding some descriptive text information, perhaps directions, and then do the same for each one of these. And then very quickly, I have created a very nice and effective map that I can share with anyone. I can send it via an email by clicking on this send link, or if I just want the actual link, I can click on link, grab it, and send it to someone. I can even embed this map directly into an existing web page if I want. And if I want to spend a little more time on it, I can even draw directly on the map itself using some of the tools that come with the MyMaps application.